behind us, you can see one of our two boilers. Uh, the first one is already on its final destination. This one will move shortly. The steam boilers are located in this location because here they are close to the cracking furnaces. By locating the steam boilers here, we can reduce the length in high pressure steam piping, which reduces the heat losses. Boilers will produce steam around 115 bar G and 520 degrees Celsius. What is also really special on these boilers is that they can ramp up really quickly. And that's uh, important to reach the maximum capacity of 200 tons an hour. The primary function of the steam boiler is basically to kickstart the crackers. During startup of the cracker, the cracker is not, so, not self-foreseening in high-pressure steam and the steam boiler provides the required steam. After the cracker startup, uh, the function of the boiler changes. Uh, the boiler will deliver steam in case uh, of a hiccup or a trip of the cracker. Uh, the second function after cracker startup is that the steam boiler provides steam to generate power. That power is used on turbines to provide uh, the necessary power in case of an outage. The startup of the boilers will be in the beginning of next year. That's important because we need the boilers during the commissioning. A big step during the commissioning is the steam blowing. It's important that we clean all the pipes to the turbines very well because there are no particles allowed in the turbines. The boilers will contribute to the sustainability of the cracker in different ways. Behind us you can see the economizer. Due to the economizer, we can reuse as much as possible energy to make as much as possible steam. We will reuse the hydrogen off gas from the cracker instead of natural gas to produce steam. That steam we can use for our steam turbine generators to produce electricity and that electricity we can reuse on sites. To reduce the NOx emission of the boilers, we invested in two techniques. In the first place, we used uh, low NOx burners. And in the second place, we used a selective catalyst reactor to reduce the NOx to the atmosphere.